wanted to do like a dedicated video to something new. Well, it's actually not really even new because this is something I started doing way at the beginning of 2021, but basically I don't use leave-in conditioners or any kind of creams for my wash and goes anymore. I just use gel. And I have continuously been getting questions from you guys on all of my platforms as to why, how is it working? Am I still doing that? Do I like it? How are my curls doing? Are they dry? Like literally there's just so many questions surrounding this topic. So I figured it would just be best to do a dedicated little chit chat video. I'm gonna give you all, all the deets as to why I do it this way and just answer all of the questions that you guys have been asking. So let's just jump straight in. Yes, I do not use any more creams, no curl creams, no leave-in conditioners when I'm styling my wash and goes. This is not something that I would have ever actually tried out on my own because I, I can hear and understand why that would be like, oh my gosh, that's crazy, your girl's gonna be dry. But no, that's not the case. And I do need to give special credit to I Am Black Girl Curls on Instagram, as well as my hairstylist, Crystal from Salon Scanda. I will tag everybody below. Yeah, basically my stylist, Crystal, she gets her super curly education from I Am Black Girl Curls. They have this course called Cut It Kinky. And so she's learned a lot of stuff from them, which she has then kind of taught me. It was my first appointment with Crystal and she was like, yeah, I'm gonna style your hair with just gel. It's gonna be water and gel and this is just what we're gonna do. It can be something that you can continue to try after yourself to see how it works. And I was obsessed with the way my hair came out. I went home, tried it myself, loved it, continued to try it with different gels and here we are. That was all the way back in February and we're now in December and I'm still just using gels for my wash and goes. My curls honestly have been flourishing so so much so basically the I am black girl curls kind of explanation for this as to why it's like better to use just gels as opposed to leave-in creams is that water is the only real true legit moisture product for your hair like everybody's first instinct is to think that oh my curls are gonna be dry they're not gonna be nice blah 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 but no you're styling the gel with the water so basically you're just replacing your leave-in conditioner moisture product for a better moisture product which is water and again I will link all of their details below so you can go ahead and check out their platforms where they get way more into detail about it but yeah basically creams in general are just a really heavy it's really heavy for the hair, period. Especially after going through the process of, you know, I used creams for a while and then I stopped and then using gel and just seeing the way my curls are reacting, the way that they're different and the way that they're truly like actually flourishing without the creams is actually wild. So yes, I have genuinely been absolutely loving styling my hair, gel only. And it's something that I will continue to do. Now, is that to say that I'm never gonna use a leave-in conditioner or curl cream ever again? No, of course there's still situations like, for example, I love a good cream for a twist out, or who knows, maybe in the future I might test out a couple of wash and goes with creams, cause y'all know me, I'm always experimenting, right? But this is me just saying like right now, currently, this is what I'm really enjoying and my curls are very much like enjoying it too. So there's so many, differences I've noticed in my hair ever since I started taking the styling creams out of the equation. It's really just been benefit after benefit, honestly. My curls are more defined, which means they then last way longer. You guys saw in my A Week With My Hair video where I took you guys for a week. We took it all the way to day six. I could have even pushed it to probably day seven and day eight if I really wanted to. My curls can last pretty long and I'm really, really happy about that. Especially with my hair being shorter, of course it's like a lot easier to deal with, but I've noticed that my curls themselves, cause even at the beginning of my natural hair journey when my hair was still short, like looking back, I noticed it was not as defined as it is now. It didn't last as long as it does now. So more curl definition, more longer lasting curls. My curls are also not weighed down anymore. I feel like they're nice and fluffy. Like this is day two. So it's still kind of small. Like it's smaller than you guys have seen it before. Obviously as we go throughout the week, it grows and gets bigger and bigger, but I just love how it's just so light and fluffy. I don't personally like curls that are like weighed down and like super defined without volume. I find that with this technique of just using gel, I get like the perfect balance between curls definition and volume every single wash and it's amazing. I've also noticed that it is so much easier to refresh my curls successfully. Like a light refresh with just mousse. Again, you guys would have seen that in my week with my hair video, but it's literally so easy to refresh because there's not layers and layers of cream 
products that the product is just gonna kind of be sitting on top of. And honestly, the whole thing about your curls feeling dry if you're just using gel, I genuinely feel like my curls are more moisturized and happier than they've ever been. Y'all know I've always been a fan of wetter is better, styling my wash and goes with lots of water. Um, but basically what would happen is when you're styling with lots of water and then you're putting that cream on top, the cream is so heavy, like your hair shaft is already full with the cream now. When you're putting the gel on top of the cream, the gel doesn't really have much of a chance to get absorbed by your hair strand. It just doesn't have as much of a chance to be as effective as it could be. Does that make sense? Because there's the water, then the cream, and then the gel. The cream is like a barrier in between the water and the gel. Does that make sense? Like I hope this is making sense because when I went through this entire process of switching it up a little bit, like it just all, ended up making so much sense. I could literally see the differences in my hair and it just like, dang, that makes so much sense. You know what, also I feel like my natural hair regimen, my routine has become extremely simplified. That's another benefit. For example, on wash day, my wash days are three products, shampoo, conditioner, and gel. That's it. No more concoctions of like, okay, are we gonna mix gels and then use some mousse and then also have leave-in conditioner? It's like none of that. It's very, very simplified. And then again, like I said, when it comes to refreshing, it's very simple. I just need to use a mousse. The mousse is very easily absorbed into my hair because there's not, you know, a bunch of buildup. So again, right there, super, super simplified and easy for me to take my hair throughout a full Full week without having to worry and then also on my next wash it is very very simple for me to fully cleanse my hair because that is a whole other thing like getting rid of that amount of buildup has been amazing not just for my hair as well but also for my scalp I feel like I used to use a lot of creams because of course you think cream you think moisture that's just what we were taught but looking back honestly like all the creams were doing was creating buildup I will never forget um, when Crystal and I first had the conversation because I know it's like no cream like are you crazy it, it sounds a little bit crazy but I promise you it has been amazing for me so if you're watching me now and you're like oh my gosh okay maybe I need to give this a try I do need to mention that when your curls are so accustomed to you doing things a certain way when you switch it up completely it's gonna be a little bit weird starting out. So if you are gonna go ahead and try to transition into the gel only thing, it's definitely something that I would suggest that you keep up with for a little bit. Like you need to give it a chance, give your curls a chance to really kind of readjust. You need to kind of experiment, give yourself, like personally, a chance to readjust and figure out, you know, the best kind of techniques, the best ways to kind of get your hair popping. If you give it time, I'm telling you it is amazing i feel like this is like a new age curly girl thing that is just i love it another tip as well in case you are going to go ahead and try this out is i would suggest you start out by doing like a detox wash so like for example just off the top of my head inner sense has a really great detox mask that you can use so what i would suggest is a good shampoo shampoo in sections then do your little detox mask or even a clay mask and then do a little moisture treatment after and then style with gel. And then you just continue, not detoxing every time, but after that you continue with your regular shampoo, conditioner, gel only, and just continue trying it like consistently. And you'll see like the more that you use it, your curls should like kind of readjust and they'll be popping and flourishing. And I know it sounds a little scary at first, but you might just find your best hair days ever if you just stick with it and stay consistent. So I do have a couple of favorite gels because I know that question is gonna come next. Which gels are gonna work for this? Because you wanna make sure that you are using high quality gels. You should not do this with Eco Styler. I'ma just say that, don't do this with Eco Styler. It's probably not gonna be a good situation, especially if you're gonna be using Eco Styler every single week, it's not packed with quality ingredients that your hair is gonna need in order to stay nice and happy and moisturized. So my top three favorite currently are the Bomb Ass Fro Gel, the Zippity Doo Gel that Bianca has suggested for me, absolutely love it. And then also the Brio Geo Curl Charisma Frizz Control Gel, love them so much. They offer curl definition, but they're not super heavy gels either, so they still allow for my hair to be nice and fluffy and bouncy the next day and like full of volume. There are others as well, like the Inner Sense I Create Hold, 
bomb.com. The Avita Curl Jelly, actually, that one's actually really good as well. So there are actually a number of really great options out there. So give it a try, especially if you feel like you haven't been able to really nail down a wash and go yet. If that's genuinely something that you would love to be able to do, this is definitely something that I a thousand percent recommend. One of the craziest things I've ever heard, but one of the best things I have ever done. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, you can hear a lot more in detail on the I Am Black Girl Curls page. I believe you can even sign up for like their little trainings and everything. They are so bomb. So yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any other questions that you guys have asked me, but I feel like I've probably hit majority of them. If you have any additional questions, of course, go ahead and comment it below. I'll get to it eventually. Um, but yeah, there's just like to summarize basically my curls have been flourishing ever since i love it and that's something that i will continue doing 100 percent so try it out tag me so i can see your flourishing curls and yeah that's basically gonna be it for this video thanks so much for watching i will catch y'all tomorrow for the next day of listmas bye <laughs>